All right, welcome back. So this one I just picked up, it was like 200 bucks. And as you can see, probably, I'm replacing the front brake. So I'm gonna do that. I also already replaced the carb. Um, the old junky carbs, I hate these things. This is what they look like. I don't like that. These are no bueno. I believe these are like the PZ20s. Yeah, I think it's PZ20. This one's, believe it or not, is a little bit smaller. It's PZ-19, but it runs so much better. Um, no hiccups in between throttle, and uh, it gives you a little bit more on the top end, which is, again, surprising, considering it's actually a little smaller than that guy. But works great. Love the PZ-19. PZ-22 works good, but this is a 50cc engine, so smaller, better. Uh, on these particular engines, uh, but it runs great, um, very tunable. It's got the adjustments, but uh, but yeah, dude, for 200 bucks, can't really beat it. Um, I do have to get this hook back up. I do have the rod somewhere. It must have uh, fell out as I was driving it, but uh, I'll find that this thing is all tweaked up. Um, so I'll, I'll straighten that up, make it nice, and then uh, I'll have some good working brakes here. Um, but other than that, uh, she's good to go. Front brakes work great. It just needs a new handle, which I have. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that now. And, uh, and then all the plastics are going to be changed out soon. It's going to look nice. All right. The front fender is kind of a hint, but this is what it looks like right now. Take a good mental picture of that and wait for it. All right. Now that looks a little better. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it up with this piece. Because what's going to happen here is I'll show you. So right here, and that's going to go in. I'm going to modify that a little bit, but that's how it's going to end up looking. Um, it's going to have that little tail at the end, which is kind of nice. This little piece, I'm debating whether I'm going to keep it or not. Um, if I do, ew, hold on. I think I might keep it on there because it looks kind of good and uh, once it's all buttoned up and looking looking good that's how it's going to go but uh, a nice little plastic refresh on this yeah that's going to look all good. right so these tin steps uh, they work really really good um, for cutting plastic so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out using the tin snips if not I'll just use a cutting wheel but I'm going to cut all around this area here uh, and what that'll allow me to do is I can zip tie this in, I can drill up here, do whatever, or even leave this piece in there. Um, because the bolt for the seat needs to be able to pass through that hole there. And I'll show you actually. So right here, this is about where it's going to sit. So obviously this part here is blocking it. So when I go ahead and I put this on here, as you'll probably see, it just, it doesn't have enough room to fit. So I'm just gonna trim it. Right. And then so I'll... this is where zip ties come in. Really, really handy. Um, okay, so on the bottom of the seat, you see these two holes right there? I'm gonna pass a zip tie right through that because that guy snapped off. Normally that guy goes right underneath that and holds the seat down. So you don't get this like weird lifting it sits more flush to it. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a zip tie and I'll show you that here in a second. Well, luckily I had one of these things because what I had to do is I had to fish it through, but this little hook was able to help me grab on to the zip tie once I got it through and pull it out. As well as burrow through this, I had to get like underneath here and kind of do one of these jobbies where I'm like fishing out stuff until it came through. So now that that works, see what I got here. As you can see there, I'll tighten both of these guys up right to the frame. And more and more tighten. The more and more that seat tightens. And now I just got to uh, 
zip the ends out and that's it see nice and tight right against the frame that's how it's gonna look kind of looks like like if you got a chinese body kit for like one of your cars and you got it painted up real nice it looks great not quite perfect but good enough and you know it looks <laughs> looks really really uh really good uh at least you know for for what you get for a low dollar i mean this was like 25 dollars for the uh for the entire kit not even um you know with uh with shipping and all that included so like i said so this is gonna go uh, let me uh, let me see if i can handle this there we go yeah come on push Ooh, yeah now that's gonna look good i think i'm gonna bring it forward yeah i'm gonna bring it forward a little bit match with the other side so this is what i'm doing i'm matching up see make that imaginary line going across that's about where it's supposed to be and that looks good well all right now that is looking way way better <laughs> it's uh it's kind of cool it's almost like a lower dirt bike type of look it uh looks great those new plastics did a really really good job of changing the look of that bike and kind of bringing it into the new age and it's just it's a really good swamp so if you're looking for just a little bit more show this will do it uh it gets it away from that uh, pw80 look so this is much better i really really like it and i mean look at that carbon everything looks great so yeah i'm very 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 happy with that. last thing i wanted to show you here so you don't always have to use this hole or that other ball piece that usually goes over that piece uh i usually just go like this kind of stuff it there and then if it has one of these i just put one of these bolts in there and obviously that'll hold it and keep it where it uh, looks good and or you can just zip tie it to whatever <laughs> you want it to i mean this is like the zip tie episode i'm using zip ties for everything but it looks great i'm really really happy with how it turned out so i mean can't argue with like 20 bucks worth of plastics you know and uh, a little bit of uh, elbow grease and this thing is looking great plus i had that red tank off of another bike so and it worked perfect for this because it is actually from one of these frames so i just happen to have the right color instead of the yellow matches with the red plastics just looks a little bit nicer and man it just came together so perfect i'm really really happy